It all comes down to this. The women's final at the Surf City El Salvador Pro will feature Tyler Wright versus Caroline Marks. Chris Cote here with Felicity Palmatier and Mitchell Salazar. All right, you've got uh, Caroline with a ton of momentum coming in here. 37 minutes on the clock. It looks like we could have our first wave of our women's final. It's going to be Caroline Marks. Her backhand has been stellar throughout the morning, and it continues to be so. Beautifully placed opening turn. Nice setup turn there on her second. Caught up a little bit through the bottom turn there, but gets the finish. Rides out clean. Had to pause there because mm -hmm. it's a very unpredictable end section there. 36-38 on the clock. You know, just for surfing purists who uh, love to see probably the most classic rivalry ever with the stance conversation there, but I'm just loving how Caroline is able to fit right in that power pocket of the wave. I think she's kind of maximizing the potential of these small little wedges that are coming through this, especially in the mid portion of these waves. For sure, I think this wave she took off on, it offered up that first really good section, which she got to and t timed really well, but this, this last bit of this wave was really, really hard to reach. She did really well to ride out in front of this bit of foam here. She knows it's the final. She wants to make this wave count. You know, we were talking about this Felicity, and, and we are actually both up there at the, in the Red Bull Athlete Zone for both semifinals on the men. Both Tyler Wright and Caroline Marks were locked in on conditions. You can see right here a smaller wave, Chris, for Caroline. Yeah, so far, I think Caroline's back end, she's just been relentless throughout the whole day. I mean, expertly dissecting every section that's come her way. Try to find a few ramps here. Show us her fins. We know she's capable of big things. And here we go. Late drop for Tyler Wright. Comes around this section. It's a patented TW. Pair of carves right there, but hung up on her second turn. Obviously, it's very early here, but second turn kind of indicates that maybe she's just a little bit frustrated. Especially being uh, a final here. So first maneuver, open face carve, goes into this second section, but you can already see the wave kind of getting a bit short. She gets hung up there, but... ...was really the aspect of surfing that stood out the most, and especially in a high-pressure situation, too. She had a priority, needed that wave, great opening snap right there. It did take her a while to come around the section, and that might not look as good on the judges' scorecards, but once she gets back out to the open face, I thought the surfing was great, and you need to be otherworldly when it comes to these sections right here, and I thought that was perfect timing on that last snap. You talk about the two biggest sections of the wave. She took advantage of them, Chris, and she should be dropping her best number right here. And that was great. Great surfing, a lot of flow, really just engraving her name on the face of that wave with authority. Every time we seem to surf against each other, we just go all out and go for big stuff. So I'm really excited. We're excited too. Get get cool. We'll see you in the final. All right. Thank you. To kind of uh, gain more control out of her boards, get more power, push a little bit harder. So uh, let's see which board maker is going to be at the top today. Got action underway. Strider out in the water. You've got the bird's eye view. What's going on? We do. Caroline taps away at the top of that lift. She's coming to the inside here. She has to kick out. So not bettering any of her scores, maybe a priority mistake. You could kind of see that way with a weird line on it. Get inspired to be a steward of our ocean and get inspired to shred because Tyler Wright is back at it. So far, no real scores of note. And this wave was, looks like it's trying to work against her. She handles it. That was fine. That was okay. You know, that's not going to be a score she's going to, or a wave she's going to think back on in her career and think, oh, that was the one. That was a great one. That right there was just her trying to, I, I feel like, trying to work her way back into this heat to get things going. This is a 3-3-7 for Tyler Wright. And just broken up surfing right here. Wasn't really able to find a flow. That was a really tough section. I think it probably would have been smarter for her to skip it and maybe gain some speed for that last one. 40 minutes is a long time. You need to be able to manage that in a different way than you would at 35 minute heat. And here we go, Caroline Marks. Quick st quick snap to start there. Another turn. Solid finish. One, two, three punch for Caroline Marks. Is it better than a four, eight, three? Looks like the crew thinks so. I love that Caroline right now is, is being relentless without overdoing it. 
skylarking. She's not overdoing it. Everything's just in its proper place. I think it just comes down to timing and her read on this wave. I think that's that's what I've got to put it down to. Uh, if we can look here in this slow mo, but just her positioning where she chose to hit that lip was just perfect timing and because of that perfect timing the rest of the wave flows and these three turns were put together pretty nicely uh, so it'll be interesting to see if this is going to better her 483 they're situated out on the point literal 50 yard line front row seats to tyler wrights next effort here we go long extended carve there the baseline score growing now with every turn she does down the line. She's got to have a big finish here. Quick power snap there. Decent pace down the line there. It wasn't necessarily, you know, fiery all the way through, but she definitely packed that wave. Compelling argument to the judges. Give me something meaningful here. Nice combination of turns as well. I thought this wave was pretty smart. I mean, honestly, with priority, seven minutes to go, you got to make a decision if you know you need two scores. The first wrap, great. I think the setup turn right there really put her in a good spot to gain some speed. And that turn, to me, was the money one. A lot of speed down the line, perfect positioning to come around the corner and end up with the two-turn combo at the end, too. So I actually think that was great use of priority. But that turn, to me, was really the one that will catapult her up into a better position in this heat. Six minutes to go now, needing one more score. Let's see if Marks can hold her off with priority. But uh, just overall, to be able to make a comeback like this, even if it's 11 points, that's a little tough thing to do when you haven't gotten anything better than a three-point ride right in your score line. But Caroline Marks is out the back. Opportunities knocking. One of the bigger sets we've seen of this final. And here we go. Caroline Marks setting things up. Cranks it off the bottom, straight into the lip. Oh. Attacks a little late there. Gets blown off her board by that Punta Rocas wall. One wave to give her the opportunity so that she can open up, and this might be it. She's gliding in off the bottom. She's got a beautiful section, rah, into the corner, big whip. She's gonna load up this inside corner and see if she can go again. Bang, huge floater over that thing, wow. It, it, it eviscerated on the inside after that floater. We'll keep our eyes. That was kind of a, a heavy while. hold down yeah. right there. <laughs> I mean, she fell in the worst place you could possibly fall on that wave, giving her board a look. Oh, she uh -oh. Just, uh -oh. something's happened. All right, this is a uh, this is. I mean, this is a heavy section she hits right here at the end. Great first car, fully lays on rail. A lot of commitment in that one, but she just didn't have the right amount of speed to come out of that and maybe fin to the arm it looked like could have been yeah well either way dangerous moment we have our safety team right on top of it we, oh, uh, yeah she fell on a board minute 30 to go the good times never seem so good for sweet caroline marks getting the victory here at the surf city el salvador pro with a 633 and a 527 <laughs> Caroline Marks is your victorious surfer. So cool to see a goofy win out here on their yeah. backhand at Punta Roca. It's very, very impressive. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for her. I mean, the, the, the energy dropped there with, uh, with what happened with Tyler Wright, and we'll keep you updated as to uh, what went down there. But at the end of that 40 minute super final, Caroline Marks. The smile says it all right there. The stoke is real. Your 2023 <laughs> Surf City El Salvador Pro presented by Corona winner.